The Annex Keltner's MBBR process is a biological wastewater treatment which implements a biofilm fixed on the surface of a carrier. The secret behind the MBBR technology is hidden below the surface. A population of microorganisms develops on the surface of thousands of suspended carriers which facilitates their growth. Several different carrier types have been developed for use in a wide variety of applications. The availability of oxygen and substrates is critical for the development of highly efficient biofilm. The specific design of these carriers and moving bed nature of the system ensures that the biofilm has optimal access to the bulk liquid along with the promotion of natural sloughing of the outer biofilm layers. The movement of the carriers in the reactor enabled by aeration or mixers creates friction between the pieces resulting in control of the biofilm thickness. This results in an optimal efficiency and therefore a significant reduction in the volume of the reactor. In aerobic systems, the carriers are kept in motion by the air injected at the bottom of the treatment tank. Excess sludge and treated water leave the tank through specifically designed cylinder sieves that retain the carriers inside the tank. In non-aerated systems, submerged agitators ensure the continuous suspension of the media. A sieve wall is implemented instead of cylinders in order to avoid jeopardizing the complete mixing of the entire reactor volume. Downstream separation is necessary in order to retain the excess sludge before the treated water is discharged into the environment. Multi-flow lamella settlers or active-flow high-speed ballasted flow clarifiers and spit-flow rapid dissolved air flotation are often used for that purpose. Another possibility is to replace the settlers with hydrotech disc filters, which results in a very compact unit. The Anox Keltner's MBBR technology is very flexible, so the selection of one configuration or another is only dictated by the optimization of the overall performances. The MBBR process in its original configuration, also called pure MBBR, has been installed at more than 600 facilities all over the world, such as at the South Adams Wastewater Treatment Plant, located in Colorado, USA, the plant has a 25,000 population equivalent treatment capacity and at Bergamo in Italy, which has a 220,000 population equivalent treatment capacity. An alternative configuration of the Anox Keltner's MBBR is the Hybris hybrid process which specifically targets municipal nutrient removal. Another application of the Hybris is the conversion of a conventional activated sludge into a hybrid reactor, which is an appropriate way to increase the capacity of a plant while reusing existing tanks. One of the first Hybris units was installed at Broomfield, Colorado, USA in 2002. This plant's treatment capacity is 73,500 population equivalent. It was followed by 30 others all over the world, including the Lille Marquette Wastewater Treatment Plant located in northern France. This site with a population equivalent of 650,000 treatment capacity was designed and built by Veolia subsidiary OTV and started operations in 2013. Among the multiple configurations of the MBBR, the BAS process is, like the HIBUS, a combination of two systems, biofilm and suspended growth process. The difference is that they are separated into two different stages. The upstream biofilm step reduces the pollution load and therefore protects downstream activated sludge treatment. The benefits of this configuration are multiple, especially a low footprint and better sludge quality. There are numerous bass references around the world. For example, at the Papales Cordillera Pulp and Paper Plant, located in Puerto Alto, Chile, and the Sepol Biodiesel Production Facility, located in Normandy, France. With more than 700 references worldwide, the Anox Keltner's MBBR technologies have proven their efficiency in both the municipal and industrial markets, whether it be for new plants or the upgrade of existing facilities.